Well, hello there. How are you? Yeah. Hi, everybody. I was just saying hello to Rue. Oh, hi, Rue. Yeah. It's kind of noisy out there, isn't it? Yeah. Still doing construction. Big trucks up and down the street. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. Happy Monday. We're getting cloudy here. Some crappy weather rolling in, but eh, we'll roll with it, right? Um, uh, eight years ago on this date is when my mom passed away. And we were fortunate the fall before to put together a surprise 70th birthday party for her. And uh, it was just spectacular. Her friend, we just found her friends near and far and we put together a book for her, um, photos and stories and memories. And yeah, uh, family friend Georgine wrote this that we put in the front. Every person on earth has a story to tell. Every experience is something beautiful that we learn from and touches our hearts forever. Yeah. Yep. Um, I could tell story after story. I just, I wanted to just acknowledge her today and I was talking with friends yesterday about their plans for their pet um, who's nearing her end of life and how difficult that is. And, um, you know, our culture has barely come to grips with even learning how to live a, 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 a good life, right? Um, let alone that we can even wrap our heads around like how to die, talking about dying. You know, I'm actually quite pleased that, you know, talking about hospice and hospice care has become, I don't want to say mainstream, but a bit more normalized in the way that we can talk about mental health, you know, without, you know, whispers and, oh, did you hear about Joe down the street? Yeah, yeah, you, you know all that kind of stuff um yeah it's tough man and right now everything is just everything is just uh, everything is just emphasized by an you know orders of magnitude of how intense it all feels and loved ones who get sick and you know not being able to hold wakes and funerals so yeah Hang in there. We gotta just, we gotta work through this together and lift each other up. Um, I want to say happy birthday to David uh, <laughs> Samashima. Forgive me, David. Um, I probably just mangled the pronunciation of your name, but you're David, the photographer guy. <laughs> that sounds belittling. No, David is. <laughs> David is the friendliest face behind a camera on the Chicago music scene that I'm aware of. And I don't know what we do without him at this point. I mean, he's been doing this for years for so many artists, you know, showing up to gig after gig and taking great photos and videos. And boy, David, you're, you're tremendous. And um, yeah, we appreciate you. And everybody, let's make sure we give David credit, like on photos and stuff, if you repost them, you know, because he, he offers up his work for all of us to share, and that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, can't take him for granted. So, yeah, happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> um, I, uh, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of bird watching, and, um, you know, I got I to gotta have a handy pivot, right? <laughs> I mentioned my mom. I was also thinking about my dad. Um, my, my dad loved music. He had his things, you know. He was a, he was a 
Louis Armstrong, Benny Goodman, swing, uh, Frank Sinatra kind of guy, right? Um, but he and my mom had this ritual about once a, once a month, they would go to dinner with their great neighbor friends across the street, Marge and Hank. And it was, it was just a rotating, you know, queue of restaurants they would go to, you know, a handful of the same ones, but, um, I mean, it was, it was just, it was just what they did. And then, and then they would alternate when they were done with dinner, they would either come to our house to play cards till like one, two in the morning, or it would be, you know, across the street and late Saturday afternoon, early Saturday evening, it would be, it'd be my mom yelling at my dad, wherever he was in the yard or the house. I'm like, Joe, when are you getting in the shower? <laughs> I'm going to be late for dinner. <laughs> And, and, and the shower was downstairs. It was just this tiny little, like, built-in, just this build-out that my dad did, just, like, threw together. And it worked, you know, but for <laughs> four men in the house. <laughs> you had to queue up, man. <laughs> but I'd be down there. Dad let us use his hi-fi, which was just one of these awesome wood you know, consoles with the lift in the middle and the speakers, and it's on the one foot, you know, feet. Uh, great little turntable in there, changer. And um, I'd be playing my records in the afternoon. And one day, he's taking a shower, and he gets out, and he's like toweling off and shaving and getting ready. He's like, hey, what's, it, what's that you're playing? It sounds really good. And I was stupefied. Do you know what record I was playing that day? I was playing this. <laughs> I, oh boy, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it was side one. I bet it was, I bet it was Space Age Love Song that got him. Just the, just the nice melody and, and tunefulness of it, right? He just like, yeah, that sounds good. That's catchy. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> it was just a, it was a fun attaboy from, you know, dad who just couldn't be bothered with anything else we were listening to, you know, but put up with it. Oh, I'll tell you about what he put up with. Man, oh man. This record's great, man. This original one, the, the Jive, that then Arista put out. Yeah, I love this record. And then uh, the next two I bought. But I, Flock of Seagulls, you know, it was, it, you know, they blew up on MTV. It wasn't like you know, it wasn't a go-to band or anything. It was just like, it was, it was, you know, just good catchy pop, right? Uh, Frank Reynolds doing the kind of like edge, you know, delay kind of guitar thing. You know, so, so when the next couple records came out, I wasn't like lined up at new release Tuesday. What did I do? I went and did the, I went and did the notch on the cover cutout, right? <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Right? And they'd have the sticker on there for the promo copy for the store. Or maybe, I don't know, I can't, maybe there were just cutouts that were priced to sell at like two bucks, three bucks, whatever it was. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, oh man, I would just, yeah, check that out, man. Woo wee. <laughs> That's some style. <laughs> oh man. Is it Mike's score, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm going to play a song off of that, you know. I think it's obvious what I'm going to play at this point. <laughs> Never played it before. I don't even know how the song goes. So I'm going to hit pause and come back and see if I can just kind of put together a little strummy rendition for you. But, uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, let's let's power through a another Monday and and uh, take this thing day by day, hour by hour if you have to. So yeah, everybody be well. <laughs> All these years, I thought it was or something to remind me. And I print these out and it says, it's something to remind me. Always something there to remind me. I don't know, 
I'll probably end up singing or. <laughs> birthday David <laughs> more photos please <laughs> well that's some corny <laughs> be well everybody <laughs> 